episode of Spiral Uncovered presents behind the scenes and extra footage from our investigation with the Pigs team at Wimmering Manor. So we're just on the outside of Wimmering Manor. All the fencing is different. It looks a bit more secure than it was seven years ago. Here's the main doors, which I don't think are open anymore. No, we for special occasions. So yeah, it's good to be back. So we just arrived at Wimmering Manor with the Pigs team. Great to be back. A lot of good work with this. A lot of good work. So yeah, exciting times. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody to Wavery Manor and uh, thanks for coming. Some of you had a really long journey and some of you quite short, but it's brilliantly all here. So if everyone are looking for a good team to come out and do a paranormal investigation, I really recommend the Pigs team. Um, I'm here with um, Mandy and Kerry from Spiral Paranormal. Uh, we hopefully could do some more investigation with these guys because they're really, really up for their game. So it's been a real privilege so far. So yeah, it's, it's very nice. Stuff. Thank you, Mark. We'll pay him later. <laughs> with Mandy sensing a burial in the garden before we arrived, and then Tim explaining this information much later on in the evening, we spent time seeing if anything else could be uncovered. What did you just say to me, Tim? Okay, rumour has it when we first took this, invest this location on to do, we heard lots of things about it, and one of which was that there's something is buried in the grounds. Now, on the way down here tonight, oh. Mandy, what did you tell me? That I had an overwhelming feeling that there's something buried here, but where those houses are, where I parked, mm. well, where you parked my car. Because the garden would have extended and the grounds would have extended. And I said that's <coughs> where the people are buried. Mm. Oh, it's very strong, very strong. It used to be on this way, it used to be on the fence. Is it beyond the fence, please? Could you? Is it beyond the fence? Is it beyond the fence? Yes. Please show me once more which way that is. I'd say let's follow it. We've done the house occasion. Yeah, there it goes. We could. You know when I said what I said about where we parked my car, this is where the bodies were. Mm -hmm. I wasn't joking. Well, the car's parked right there. Yeah. That car is parked straight the other side. There, wow. Where Mandy said when we parked up. Yeah. Very and there would yeah. be somebody looking out from that window. Yeah. Or was there just a fence and that was their garden because they've just drawn like land. But when we came, we came walking through here and I think we started down and we must have been up there around about here mm. which is quite close to the boundary. So this must be a fairly recent yeah. Drawing of a map, is what I'm saying, rather, right. than, rather than... Yeah, much of the grounds yeah. as we see it today. What, did on. the plane yeah. come to Portsmouth? Yeah. To Act Day? Yes, it did. Yeah. 13, 14 yeah. yeah. started in Hampshire, yeah. or was a probable point of entry. I've been told that quite a few times, because this was a main entry port, yeah, as you say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said to Kerry, I think that it's yeah. plague victims. Yeah. But didn't you say 17th or 18th century? There are plate pits all over the place, plate pits in Cheam, so there could very well be plate pits. Off, I said to Kerry, it's almost as if it started off with one person and they were so sad about it, but because there were so many people dying all over the place, they just buried them in the garden. Mass burial site. And yeah. then another one, and then another one, There's and one then some the people left now. almost. They didn't all, mm. not everybody that lived here. And I said to Kerry as well, it was an upstairs window, but not, it was like it was further away than where that window is now. It was like it was further away mm -hmm. from where that is. A lot time. of play pits are actually documented because it, well, it was 400 years ago. Yeah. Tunbridge Wells uh, Castle, yeah. Yeah. right mm. near the church next to it. Behind yeah, well that's the area. Yeah. I don't even know if it was that much of a mass thing. I just feel like it was just their people and like... Yeah, I remember, but as you say... It's a busy household, mm. yeah. there were lots and lots of people here. Some of them died and got buried in the garden. This would have this house. This house is pretty much off, well after the plague, but there yeah. was a structure on this site beforehand. Just yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So I missed a bit. Yeah. Um, then lots of people left, but one person refused to leave because that was her family, and that's the woman looking out of the window. So we we'll do a bit of research on that to see what mm. we can what we can find. Wow. Yeah. And my, my history, I could, is what I think is 16th century, could very well be 14th. Because there were two outbreaks of plague, one in the 1300s, 
than again in the early 1600s. So that would make yeah. sense with my... Mm. The much smaller one, you know, worked out in the first time, it wiped out two thirds of Europe, population oh, of Europe. It was that bad. Your body played something nowadays, just an injection. London, that's how yeah. clever we are yeah. in history. But yeah. Well done.